we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed so how offenses come the causes of offenses could be real or imaginary it could be direct or indirect causes of offenses we have said could be real or imaginary it could be direct or indirect we saw an example of real and direct offense in Hannah yeah. when Penina actually offended her. Yeah. We saw that in Absalom's case, the offense was real but indirect. It was not the actual person who was offended but because Tamar was a sister, he shared in the offense, took vengeance at even his brother. If we Absalom fem so no need the end you want the end you know the more you did the end you know about now so as soon as you na a bonus I know Emma or the idea a story tia you know Emma or you tia Herman and we said that offense could also be imaginary it can be also since you are to be a baby a way you know maybe my side then we cited Saul as an example now in my soul dear no ever yet yes so when the woman sang that Saul has killed his thousand, David, his tens of thousands, the Bible says that he taught that they will even take the kingdom from his hands and give it to David. So last week we said that all these imaginations are based on some foundation. Then I said first Samuel 17 as an example. And so and then when he wanted to know uh, who David was, we gathered that because David was from Judah and that the prophets have prophesied that the king will come from Judah, it could be the basis of the imagination and the bitterness. <laughs> We said last week that bitterness comes many times because of people's insecurity. You have a one I went to him. I also thought that um, you see he has been told that he has been rejected by God twice already. First Samuel 13 from verse 12. First Samuel 13, 12. This is uh, what the scripture says. I thought now the Philistines will come down against me at Giga, and I have not sought the Lord's favor, so I felt compelled. To offer the burnt offering. And now, me say, a faith Philistine for the sign about me so Gilga, and so me yummy a radium pie, ain't it? And I may share me, who say, me bought a share of for the Verse 13 says that you have done a foolish thing. Samuel said, You have not kept the command the Lord your God gave you. If you had, he would have established your kingdom over Israel. For all time. But now your kingdom will not endure. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart and appointed him ruler of his people because you have not kept the laws. Command. Now, I say, Wahinia Rinina, a radi, Bashisha, Nakuma, so very much afar, 
na ewrade asi ni man so hene e fri se when ni de ewrade ehye wo no so so the prophet who anointed him has also prophesied that god has rejected him as king and so for him to hear the women sing in praise of david uh that one was enough for him to shudder and then decide to go after david na odifu a osra no ngu no ono a na osan ka kire no se onyame ehwan na se akonwa na nti ensem a no woto wo ka anadwuma woto fa david ho no eno a ma sol ohu se ade no se se die eya firi ni sa na first samuel 15 uh, from 22 but for the sake of time i'll just take 26 and 27 but Samuel said to him, I will not go back with you. You have rejected the word of the Lord, and the Lord has rejected you as king over Israel. And Samuel can't tell you, Saul, I will not go back with you. Uh, so you see in chapter 13, Samuel says that God will find another person and let him take um, your rulership. And then in chapter 15, he said, God has rejected you. So to hear the woman sing the praise of David, he just read in between the lines and says, what else is left but my throne? So we also said that offenses could be self-inflicted. It could just come out of jealousy and envy. And But this evening I want to say that Sometimes people are offended at God Himself. Now they feel offended and they think that God is the offender. When we finish form five, then this young man took his resource. He was really disappointed at the symbols. Not a strong Christian and a prayer warrior. So when he took his resource and he looked at his symbols, he just said, Does God exist? What is the answer? Yes. He said, God exists. He is not dead. He is alive. But he feels so disappointed. Man, he opened his mouth. Man, he said, Does God exist? So I heard it. And I heard it. I looked at him. And I turned this way. At that time, you can't just go to the person and say, God exists. He may not even understand you. That mood. You have to give him some kind of break for him to process what he has said. But God is still alive. And I'm sure someone is listening to me who is also asking whether God is still alive. This kind of ill feeling against God, this kind of displeasure flows from a heart that is disappointed in God. Obviously from lack of understanding of how God works or how they expected him to have acted. He acted contrary and they said no. I'm disappointed in the Almighty Himself. But I want to plead with you. Let us continually remain servants of the Mighty One despite the situation. Whether in good times or bad times, our attitude should be an attitude of gratitude to the Almighty God. Because He never promised 
that the road will be easy. He never promised us that the road will be easy. I've always said that there are certain facts of life that we as believers and as humans, we should internalize. We have to internalize these things. That not all the people will love you. Hold it in your spirit. And then let it be a principle that not all the people will love you. Not all the people will understand you, we have said. Now the big one. Disappointment is a major fact of life. And then this one. Bad things happen to good people. Now, the fact that you are a good fellow does not mean that nothing evil or bad will ever happen to you. And that the world is not fair. You need to understand these things. Because your understanding of them will relieve you of some bitter feelings. Otherwise, you could be fighting everything and everyone, including God Himself. Job chapter 2. Verse 20. Now, from verse 7. So, 2 from 7. So, Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. And inflicted Job with painful sores from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. And a certain free already enim koi na odi a kroboni kutu tu yob free in nine asi e kusi na pampem. Then Job took a piece of broken pottery and scraped himself with it as he sat among the ashes. Na of our chin free be sir or the regin ho na otina in sumo. His wife said to him, Are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. I like this woman because she was specific. Curse God and die. See, look at the woman's understanding. Now the woman feels that what is going on is just coming from God. We don't have to spend time serving him and worshipping him the way you have been doing. Curse him and die. But the Lord said, Shall we bow our heads and pray that God will forgive us? Or some of the things we have opened our mouths to say. Even in our closets. That God. About God. The Almighty One. And be careful of your heart. Be careful of your heart. What you are processing in your mind. Be careful that you don't see that the Almighty is against you. Amen. Amen. So verse 10. He replied, you are talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? In all this, Job did not sin in what he said. Some other versions say that he didn't sin with his mouth. And many times the kind of things we say, God hears them. And that that's not pleasing at all. Now, verse 11. 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 If I actually met God, I will, I will ask him some questions. Job chapter 23. Job 
Then Job replied, I hope Jesus say, Even today my complaints is bitter. His hand is heavy in spite of my groaning. And na my bobo diemu aye ding na mi pra aye ding asene ma pinisiye. His hand is God's hand is referring to. O chere unyami ensa ena aye nsa. If only I knew where to find him, that is God. If only I could go to his dwelling, that is God's dwelling. Oh, say Anka me nyame hunu die me hunu no no na makodru die ne tenabrea. I will state my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. Yes, can you imagine that? Anka human being mapping some arguments <laughs> I mean, against God. No. Anka me sie sie ne nim asenie na me bise bisa no ensem ara yi. I will find out what he would answer me and consider what he will say to me. And can me hunu asema odibe buame na me hunu die obeka achre me numu. Would he vigorously oppose me? No. He would not press charges against me. To me do do mu ana odi odi ne mebe ham. There be asunko ana obeye amame. There the upright can establish their innocence before him. And there I will be delivered forever from my judge. But let's listen to verse 8. But if I go to the east, he is not there. If I go to the west, I do not find him. When he is at work, in the north, I do not see him. When he turns to the south, I catch no glimpse of him. You see, he wanted to meet him. He says, I can't find him. So often times, people take offense at God. But because they cannot see God, to vent their anger on him, they displace it on anyone that is in the equation. I told you this story sometime. Fresh bride. And then fresh marriage. We just went home. And then the lady was misbehaving. And then the young man, all that he wanted to do. He felt like he was to hit, hit, hit the woman. Now we, I flow clean here. But now you want to say, I'm not born here, no. I didn't hear someone. I said hit, and he said beat, and so. Now he said, I'm born here, no. Anyway, so choose the one you want. But he said he just couldn't do that. Now so all she not she want me yes. I was so angry. Now so now the boy for you. So he decided to just get out of the house. So yes, sir, and he will be free at the end. When he just opened the door, you saw a cat in front of of the. Oh, be a pun on the pet. No one said okay. Be at that a form of a jamu. Now somewhere to walk around. Get away from here. Oh, my dear, then I walk around. Okay, say free me, come. Now what has the cat done to this young man? Where you cry and I jam where dying. Now why you tear up a page? This is what we call displacement. Where any church say ubufu and if you are going to be full frost, they are angry at God. They can't find him. So if you are not careful and you are a pastor, you make any careless remark, then they they attack you. She said, We are so for no one show you now can be be a young compet in a fee or per se what they when you bring baby also. Now, Genesis 4 from verse 3. I feel yeah, she must say, Homa, a decay, a tin nine, a fee, you mummy and some icon. In the course of time, now a bar set a brimuno. Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord. Cain, the a full moon, no ma, be ye a radi a ye. And Abel also brought an offering. Fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. Now, how about so? I didn't know you more. I'm making any one. What do it be? I be my. Never had any so. How about any? Now, yeah, yeah, dear. But on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. Now, so Cain and any, yeah, dear, no, dear. Now, so Cain was very angry. We into Cain, we fool you, pa. At who? And his face was downcast. Hmm. 
Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? Now, I didn't I if you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but rule over it. So we in Now this young man or this young man is offended. But just taking offense is not a sin. Now you can be displeased about anything. But when it turns into bitterness, it can be very dangerous. So God gave him the hint that that be careful. Sin is patching at your door. It is after you. Rule over it. Now the next verse. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, Let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Now Cain catch the new year say, Ayanko a fum, na eba se wa wa a fum no king soritia ninya abel na okumuno. This is what we call displacement. What did the brother, what did the brother do to him? Was he the one to receive the offering? So no, and sema for the No. But this king was angry at God. And he displaces that on the brother. Now killed him. So the offense now turns into bitterness. And then he kills someone. And then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? So you can see from his reply, that his anger is still at God. Let us all be careful. We can be bitter at the Almighty Himself. Because of the way we think He should have acted. Or he should act. See, like Israel traveling through the desert. It could be rough and sometimes tough. Asenia yeah, Israel for with two kwain e was resono a to de bia e to me e ye ye to de bin soa and ku ye papa. But we must learn to rest in God in all situations. And so I see who said ye bit me a home e we radimu aquain and not to be like the unbelieving Israel. The anya yen who say Israel for no one yin you know. They praise God when things go well for them. Ku ye ma won pe no ye radia ye. They curse him when situations are adverse. I say I'm one pe. I'll give you one example. When Israel had no water, you just look at their reaction. Numbers 20. Numbers 20 from verse 1. In the first month, the whole Israel community arrived at the desert of Zin. And they stayed at Kadesh. Then Miriam died and was buried. Israel for me now about things there so but some of you are the kind of now on my note in a cadets and Miriam who ho now we see no ara. Now there was no water for the community and the people gathered in opposition to Moses and Aaron. Now they gathered in opposition to Moses and Aaron but they are not the supply of water on the wilderness. They knew the person to attack but they didn't want to go to God. Then they displace it on Moses and Aaron. Now, now you see any war and ma asafono. Now, which yet tia Moses ne Aaron. They quarreled with Moses and said, "If only we had died when our brothers fell dead before the Lord, why did you bring the lost community into this wilderness that we and our livestock should die here?" Now, Omano say, now Omano any Moses hame no what can say. Now, 
and a moody a radi man, a ba a stray so say yemu wa hey yang and yemwa. Yes. Why did you bring us up out of Egypt to this terrible place? It has no grain or fixed grave wines or pomegranates, and there is no water to drink. Now, what can't you say? I didn't see an odd one, Baba do one more. A honomono, no buy a wash in you now, any war, not in Sua or Benomon, so a bow. I'm sure this is the day that Moses. Maybe even in heaven does not want to remember. But you say Sunday, the beer and most of the kind of nyaya and kadano puma. Now, when they had plenty to drink, listening to them. Okay, a brana in sooner busua one nomino umienti won. Numbers twenty one verse sixteen. If you numeri wa iti edu no bako, if you mudu siano aircon. From verse sixteen, from there they continue to beer. The, the well where the Lord said to Moses, Gather the people together and I'll give them water. Then Israel sang this song. We are going to sing. <laughs> when, when there is water, they will sing. When there is no water, they will fight. Yeah. Spring up, oh well. Sing about it. About the well that the princes dug, that the nobles of the people sank. The nobles with scepters and staffs. Then they went from the wilderness to Matana. Na a subra a titre two ye na omang no mu ma poma funfunu ye. What de a him poma and it won poma na wo free stresso a ko matania. So when there's plenty they sing. And tis a no ma dosso a kwe fine. And ku ye dia and yen to it is this attitude of the earth that made them prone to the worship of Baal. Because Baal is supposed to be the goddess of fertility. So they always want to live in that kind of life. So that is why Israel was always tempted to worship this Canaanite god called Baal. A particular god called Baal. Now we know a bosom sumno and pimpy no na eku baal. Yeah, because she was the goddess of fertility. So it, they were always tempted to worship the God who will make them fertile, prosper them, give them all that they want at any time. And give them all that they want at any time. And to the Bribian who person was summing yami a obemma wong no bae any normal any one brabo across so from from. But we need to be content in all situations. And so what new men you name no SSA you to me penis. Paul says to the church in Philippi. So my for Paul catch there. Sorry, I never Philip no. Now who brought him some gifts when he was in prison? Bro, what ne do you name no ne do you fear no or the or the church you be brave. Philippians four verse ten. Mommy and she Philip perform man no eighteen nine. If you you do no aircon. I rejoice. Greatly in the Lord that at last you renewed your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. And so many jikes here were a radimu say, Mu free as here with Jenny Hong, Mu Jenny Hong, now so when Yahoo Quine. I'm not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. And yes, O Yenti and American ye. If we say media, Messiah said, I sit in a beer and one, me one, me penniso, no mamma not dormiso. Let us learn to be content, whatever the circumstances. Mummy and Sias are sitting a beer, your woman, a bed doyen. So I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well fed or hungry. Whether living in plenty or in want, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Minim Ambrasia, na minim akunku semdi enso. Bribiara ni enuomenina akukwame. On me, ni a quam, ni a concusem, any here di. Me to me, a dinina ye, dear Oshemedino emu. 
Be careful. Guard your heart. His grace is sufficient for you. Even in your weakness. Even in your ailments. You have been thrown out of your matrimonial home. You have prayed and prayed, yet this has been the result. But guard your heart. Watch your mouth. His grace is sufficient for you. At the end, you will orchestrate everything to your advantage. Does God exist? So, our God is alive. He never promised us that the road is going to be easy. But the promise is when you are in the waters, I will be with you. At the end of the day, He will bring you out. Safe and secure. In him. I hope you are not offended at against God. Because he's your strength and your redeemer. Let us watch our mouth. When we are displeased about situations. Let us guard our hearts. So that we don't become like Cain. Avenging his brother. The Lord us. I pray that you watch over your heart. Watch over your mouth. Be careful what you think about. Our God is still alive. Shall we rise in prayer? Maybe you are here. You are even disappointed. Because you prayed. You think that God didn't give you the right man. You are contemplating divorce. You are telling yourself you careless. If they throw me out of the church, I will go. I will leave this man. Stop going to church. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be very, very careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Just some patience. Just some endurance. God will show up. Let us love him. Not because of what we receive from him. But because he's our father. He's God.